In this example, we are going to write off a bad debt in QuickBooks. This example is recorded using QuickBooks Premier Accountant Edition 2010. If you're using a different edition, your screen may look slightly different. I'm going to start by viewing my open window list, just so I can see what windows I have open within QuickBooks. And the first step to record a bad debt expense is going to be to set up the bad debt item in our items list. So we're going to click on list in the top menu bar and select item list. And as you'll see in our current item list, we don't have bad debt expense set up. So in order to do that, we're going to click item at the bottom and select new. The item type we're going to use is going to be other charge. And our item name is bad debt. And in the description, we are going to write bad debt write-off. And the account that we're going to use to record this is going to be the bad debt expense account. Now that we have that all entered, we're going to select OK. And now you'll see our new item on our item list. Now we're going to go back to the QuickBooks home screen. And we are going to enter a credit memo to write off a bad debt. And you'll want to do this if um, an invoice in your accounting system becomes uncollectible. If you're using the cash basis of accounting, you could technically go in and delete the invoice. But um, creating a credit memo and posting it to bad debt expense is really the correct way to do this. Since it, it'll, it'll um, keep track of all the bad debts that you're writing off, just so uh, as a company you'll, you'll be aware of the situation with uncollectible invoices. So in the credit memo screen, we're going to enter our customer name. And the store name, since we're using class tracking. We're going to enter the date that the invoice became uncollectible. And as our credit number, we're going to enter the invoice number followed by a C. And in the item column, we are going to select bad debt. And QuickBooks is going to come up with a warning message. Just because credit memos typically post to income accounts, and in this case, we are posting to the bad debt expense account. So we can select OK here. And in the rate column, we're going to type in the amount of the invoice that we're going to write off. If the invoice we were going to write off included taxable and non-taxable items, we would have to create two bad debt item lines on this credit memo. One would post to tax and one would post to non-taxable sales. In the memo field at the bottom, we are going to indicate what invoice it is that we're writing off. And now that we have the credit memo entered, we're going to select Save and Close. And you'll see here that um, it comes up with a message that we can do one of three things with the credit. We can ret retain it as an available credit. We can give it as a refund, or we can apply it to an invoice. And in this case, we're going to apply it to an invoice since we want to write that invoice off. So we're going to select OK here. And the next screen is where you're going to apply the credit to the invoice that you're going to write off as bad debt expense. So here you'll see that QuickBooks has already selected the in invoice 4003. So here we're going to select Done, and that complete, completes our example of, write, of writing off bad debt.